let me write a hat just to emphasize we have a numerical solution. Hat, hat, hat. We want to know what is the error, which is u hat minus u a. What we know is the truncation error. What we, we know is, well, we don't know exactly, but we know how it behaves. We know how fast it goes to zero as delta x decreases. Uh, actually, no. Tau is equal to this, not on the numerical solution, but on the analytical solution. So I'm going to write a here, a here, a here, a here. The important thing is that uh, the discrete operator and the continuous operator is applied to the same solution when you're looking at Taylor series analysis, right? All of these analyses only are true when this and this is operated on the same function as this derivative. If they are different functions, it doesn't apply. And they have to be analytic solution because only the analytic solution has a derivative. The discrete solutions, the UI has, I mean, they are only at discrete points. They don't even have a derivative, a well-defined, a uniquely defined derivative. So when we do truncation error, we apply this on the analytical solution. All right. But when you look at the solution error, and when you derive the evolution of the solution error by taking the analytical solution and the analytical equation and numerical solution and subtract them from each other, what you get is dui hat dt minus partial ua partial t, so the left hand side, would be equal to something very similar to the truncation error, but not the truncation error. It's not the truncation error because the discrete operator, the final difference operator, is operated on the discrete solution, not the analytical solution. And the derivative, the analytical derivative, is, is operated on the analytical operator. So who remembers what we did to resolve that discrepancy? Exactly. So I added and subtracted a term that is u analytic i plus 1 plus u analytic i minus 1 minus 2 u analytic i divided by delta x squared. So I subtracted this term and I added the same term. Okay, so this is the term I added and subtracted, which changes nothing, right? Then I copy what I have originally on this equation. Also subtract derivative. Now I group here, I group here. I get two terms. One of them, which is this term, is exactly equal to the truncation error. And this term goes like O delta x squared. The first term, they are the same operator operated on different solutions. And the difference between them is actually the discrete operator operated on what? On u hat minus u a, which is the error. So here, we basically derived what's called the error equation. So the left hand side is basically dE dt, right? This is the left hand side. Is equal to, first of all, this term is 
let me say u e i okay e i so put an i here okay is equal to e i plus one plus e i minus one minus two e i divided by delta x square so that's this first parenthesis plus tau i this is called the error equation this is how the error of our numerical solution evolves in time it has two terms one term is contribution from tau i the other term is a self evolution of this error okay and this is why we need to make sure that this discrete operator itself is stable okay it is stable in the sense that uh, it has to be stable in the sense that if on the last time step there is a certain amount of numerical error if assuming we have no contribution from tau we have no contribution we have no truncation error even in the absence of truncation error the error should decay by itself at least it shouldn't amplify itself 